This podcast is brought to you by Loot Crate Anime. Loot Crate has teamed up with Crunchyroll to bring you amazing toys, apparel, and other cool collectibles from your favorite anime and manga. To subscribe, just go to lootcrate.com slash anime America and use the code anime America to get $3 off your first subscription. I gotta, I gotta check everybody's awareness, you know? There could be spirits in the floor. Okay. But anyway, but anyway, welcome back to the podcast, everyone. My name is Shannon, and I'll be hosting tonight's episode with my other cohort, Lark. Where am I? I'm in some kind of digital... This is scary. I'll give you a plunger for that later. And who's this? We have somebody new. That's me. Hi, world. I'm Tara. <laughs> she is Tara. Woo! Episode 7 of the podcast, and today's date is October 5th, 2016. Because so, I didn't forget the date this time. Woo! Uh, 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 it's, it's the 6th, actually. Okay, it's the 6th in Australia. <laughs> I thought I'd just sixth... mention that. Yeah. So, 5th slash 6th, if you're in Australia, Lark. So, quick, before we um, continue on, Tara, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Well, I'm a voice actress, I'm an abridger, and I make some weird YouTube videos. And that's about it. Want to tell the audience uh, what's one of your favorite YouTube videos you did? One of my favorite YouTube videos I did. Um, it would probably have to be my I I did the roast yourself challenge and that's that's what I'm most personally proud of but um collaboratively probably the abridged series that I co-write how to be an adventurer like those episodes I'm I'm pretty proud of too content wise all right hello everybody and we want to in also introduce Lark he's not only is he awesome he is the new He's the new person on our pod, on our whole channel. Yay! Tell us what, tell them what you like and stuff. I like um, apple pie, long walks on the beach, uh, watching television with a bowl of popcorn, and hamster wheels. You shrimp on the Barbie. Oh my God! Do not. <laughs> we no. Okay. Okay. No. I am going to stop this right now. Cooking shrimp on the barbie, yes, is a technique, but it's not something we do on a daily basis. It is hard, it is horrible, and it just, no, stop. We do not drink Fosters, we do not use our kangaroos as taxis. Do you eat at Outback Steakhouse every day? <laughs> Outback Steakhouse. Oh my do you eat Vegemite by the spoonfuls? No, oh my god. Stop. It's it's spread on toast, Stop. right? Yes. I, all right. Right. I, now, act I'm I gonna, actually I did am, try no, vegetable. No, 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 I'm going to teach everyone how to do it. All right. You get your piece of bread. You put it in the toaster. Lightly toast it. Slap on a really um, like a good amount of butter, so it's like nice and like buttery, but not soggy. And then you get your knife, not a spoon. You get your knife and slightly spread it on. Don't get a truckload of it, just slightly spread it on. That's how you eat Vegemite, not by the spoonful like everyone does. I've, I'm have i out of breath now. You you got me angry. Cook in the park, <laughs> everybody. If it helps, if it helps, like, uh, an Australian friend had me try Vegemite. So, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not that ignorant about it. I know. Cooking with Lark, everybody. We're just cooking <laughs> with Lark. No, it, if, if I'm going to add any two cents, like, I, I know that most of the kids here at, at Anime America don't like Sword Art Online, but I love Sword Art Online, so I'm going to slam that, the door on that. 
Q Q here I thought we could be friends. Q air horn. I'm like my heart is on the floor. I'm I'm just gonna kick it into the bin. <laughs> yeah, see, season one was okay. Season one was okay, but then they screwed it all up. I stopped. I the buck stops at half of season one for me. Episode, episode thirteen. I can't do it. Why? You know, it's just the fairy arc that got me. The fairy arc got me. Gun Gale was a little better, except the whole bad actual bad guy thing. But the the fairy arc got me. Just specifically the fairy arc. Eh, each each to their own, I guess. <laughs> well, we do got to get to the news article of the day. Someone asked us via Answer Man Two from Anime News Network, why why are Funimation and Crunchyroll getting married? Segway. So Funimation and Crunchyroll are a partnership now. That's a thing. As of the official new Anime News Network um, article states, media dis- distribution site Crunchyroll and North American anime licensor and distributor Funimation Entertainment announced a partnership on Thursday that they will include cross-streaming opportunities, broadcast of production, and home video description... Description, ha. Huh? Distribu- <laughs> distribution. The, part- the partnership is currently limited to U.S. and Canada. So, in a nutshell, basically, they'll both cross-stream each other with Crunchyroll providing the sub-content, Funimation providing the good dub broadcast backing, and Funimation helping with the home video release. So, what do you guys think about it? I think it's great. I'm excited about it. Yeah, it really does. Oh, go ahead, Tara. I was about to say, it'll be really interesting because I know that um, at least a couple of the older anime that were licensed by Crunchyroll are now being dubbed by Funimation now that they're a partnership. I think that'll be really interesting to see. Like, um, I saw Vic Mignogna tweeting about, you know, a skip beat dub. Oh, That's yeah. Gonna be really cool. That the skip beat dub that got kickstarted. Woo. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, I personally, th- I'm personally liking this too. I really do see the um. I've been going around YouTube and l- listen to what other people said, and I think that for the consumer or the person who just enjoys anime, this is a win-win either way. Though it does kind of peg some questions. Like I'm not gonna say that there isn't some kind of concern. Like they could like start a whole oligarchy argument where they could monopolize from and take down other anime distributors. Like Bang Zoom, like Bangs, well, like Bang Zoom, Daisuke, Viz, like Viz Media might is gonna be fine from this because Viz Media has a particular anime market they they pick from. But I mean, like Sentai Filmworks, Aniplex, maybe. Um, for example, in, like in the article, it states that that Fukunaga also stated about the reason behind the partnership. The problem is, the market was fragmented up a bit. You had other players coming in, like Amazon or Hulu. The issue with some of those big players is that they're, n- they're maybe not as concerned with the fan experience as Crunchyroll or Funimation. So basically, how I saw it is that um, Funimation and Crunchyroll were coming together as a way to combat the bigger, p- the bigger streaming sites overall, past anime, like Netflix, where they have have invested a lot into the anime community by having like anime exclusives like the not to know Taizai dub or just exclusive anime in general like I think Knights of Sodonia are still don't don't quote me on it I think it's still um Netflix exclusive but I do see that concern for like smaller places and while I don't watch Daisuke much it did it was good to have some competition or variety if you didn't like either platform it's like there's always that you know, country barrier, and a, a lot of times it's you gotta ca- get a v- VPN to watch uh, exclusive content. But we have our own ways. Like we've got uh, Anime Lab, and we have access to Crunchyroll, so we're not too you know thrown in the dark. But what I was gonna say about the whole Crunchyroll fu- Funimation thing is that, like, like with Anime Lab, if you want the dub, you have to pay the the for for the premium account which is like 
10 bucks a month or something, or I think I paid $85 for a year. Um, but I'm pretty sure, not, don't, you know, quote me on this, but that will be something that Crunchyroll will implement, that if you want the dub, you're going to have to, you know, buy a premium account. It won't be part of Crunchyroll's free streaming service. Well, like, and it's kind of... Oh, go ahead. No, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I was saying, well, it's kind of always been a part there where you can get a premium service for either place. For example, one change that's happening to me personally is that since I am subscribed to both Funimation and Crunchyroll, like, the crun the Funimation price has gone down. It used to be, like, eight $8 or $7. Now it's, like, five ninety nine, which is pretty all right. And if you wanted just subs, you could have gotten Funimation sub package for $5 if you didn't want to go to Crunchyroll. But, like, now it's kind of like, it's kind of the best of both worlds. If you just want to do Crunchyroll, you have more options. If you wanted to have subs, you could do Funimation at a nicer, at a cheaper price. I mean, it's still kind of weird. I mean, I'm kind of glad, I'm kind of glad and not glad they don't have a collaboration price. Though that would be cool. At the I, same I, time... I th I think if there was, like, a kind of, like, a mixed package, so if when you sign up, it's like, do you want sub? All right, it's this price. Do you want dub? It's this price. Do you want sub and dub? That's going to be a bit more, but the options are there. We don't really know what the kind of working system is because, like, I'm not quite sure. Has it, has it been implemented yet? Are they Or are they still in the planning stages? No, there's, I think it's fully implemented because the, uh, um, I'm looking on Anime News Network right now, and Funimation and Crunchyroll has sponsored the guide for the fall 2016 season, so I think they're kick they kicked it off already, kinda. It's like, this is the first season after the partnership. But, like, I think regardless, it's going to be a cool idea, it's just, again, what what are the reactions of the other publishers going to be? Because well, they're going to freak out. Like, it, because th this is a very big move on Funimation's part. They, they know that Crunchyroll is a massive, massive streaming company. And to be able to jump on that, because I know that the Funimation, like their own streaming thing, isn't as popular as Crunchyroll. Because a lot more people know about Crunchyroll. You know, I, I, I watch a lot of YouTube. And there's a lot of anime-related channels out there. And usually, most of the time, there's always an ad for either Loot Anime or for Crunchyroll. And I'm pretty sure we have something with Crunchyroll, I think, once upon a time. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah, it's a very big move on Funimation's part. Um... But we'll we'll see what the reaction is from other publishers and what they plan to, like, do in the future. Alright, let's move on to some fan questions. I want to focus this episode on asking some questions, because ask those questions are important, as I always say. So, our first question comes from... Jabba Z Jab blah, 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 Jabs underscore ninety seven from Twitter is if I'm correct. So simply, what are your thoughts on Pokemon Generations and po the upcoming Pokemon Sun and Moon? And oh my God, Pokemon Generations is the is my jam. I whoa yeah yeah. I I am excited about Sun and Moon, but <laughs> yeah. I do Pokemon, but I'm. Not as involved as I used to be. I grew up with it. But for mm. those who don't know what Pokemon Generations is, is that after, because of the success, the success of the Ooh, Pokemon, oh, that, that was that was raunchy. No, I meant success. I meant success, not no, sex. No, that, that that that's for that's for the after hours podcast. After Anime America, after dark. Ooh, no, but seriously, after the success. Of the Pokemon Origins special, that um, you can now on YouTube. It's an exclusive mini series on YouTube where they're doing more um, content in the Pokemon Origins ethos. Ethos. So basically, they're like five minute, about five minute episode um, episode mini episodes, 
showcasing what Pokemon should really be like. Think of the Pokemon manga, but like for an older audience. So basically, it's Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon show geared towards an older audience. And man, okay. is it great! And you can watch all of it on YouTube, like right now, on Pokemon's official web on Pokemon's official channel. It is great content. Um, I only wish that it was more like, uh, Pokemon Origins, where it was those. I think it was like forty minute episodes, or was it twenty minute episodes? I'm, I can't remember. But I do love the the pocket sized content that you get. It's it's on a daily basis, so every day you can walk in and be like, "Oh, what's what's going on with the Pokemon world?" And then you get that content in a, in a very bite 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 size toilet time viewing, essentially. <laughs> toilet time? I heard. <laughs> don't act like you don't bring your phone into the bathroom with you. Everyone does it. We've all watched at least one anime on the on the, on the craft. Room. Whoa, okay. Let's... I I used it as an example. Okay. A really really graphic example. Oh, it's exemplary, all right. Oh my god. Leave it to lurk. Oh, that rhymes. Leave it to lurk. I think that Hashtag... should be on a shirt. Yes, let's handle it. Hashtag leave it to lurk. Leave it to Lark. <laughs> Leave it to Lark to to take everything to the next level. That's yeah. me. No, but in all seriousness, it's 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 great bite sized content, like I said. Um, and yes, it is disappointing that it's not you know long form like it was in the in the original Pokemon Origins, but it it definitely gives you a a good grasp and an observation of what's happening. Uh, within the sun and moon timeline, I guess you could say, and come and I'm going to be get, getting, uh, what is it, sun because I don't like the legendary that's on moon, just purely because of that, and all I want is an Aola. What is it? Is it Aola? Or am I it's thinking it's Alola? Alola, I'm yeah, I'm I'm just thinking of yeah. Any uh the the Mario? Radata, the the dark Radata, uh, Radata with with a mustache, that that's all I want. That's all I'm gonna buy the game for is just a Radata with a mustache, and then I'll never play again. Oh, and 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 the Eevee, the Eevee as well. You, you can't forget the Eevee evolution. Eevee is amazing. I I I will slam my 3DS closed, stick it in the drawer, and and be on my way. Um, I'm over. I'm overall excited. I actually just pre-ordered Pokemon Moon yesterday, so I am so ready to get it, and I am just hi- I'm just hyped. I just I just almost said tight. All right. Um, we could either ask one more question or play a small game. Even though I wanted to focus on fun questions today, but I think we have one. I think I have one more we can answer real quick. All right, your question is, if you were stuck on an island with the main character of from the last anime you watched, how screwed would you be? The main character? Yes, Lily Rowe from our from our um from our email animeamerica.com at g- no, animeamerica at gmail.com asked us if you were stuck on an island with the main character from the last anime you watched, how screwed would you be? I would be fine. Mine was uh, Makoto Naegi from Danganronpa 3, and he's a lovable boy. Oh, shit. Mine, mine was uh, Mob from Mob Psycho 100, so I'd probably just be bending spoons with my mind. I would be kind of worried because I, I last anime I watched was Servamp, so Mahiru? Oh, God, no. I <laughs> He's an okay kid, but my God, is he naive oh i i mean he gets better but my god i hope it's not my hero from episode one or two or three. Oh no oh no <laughs> i would not i don't know i mean he could fly he has a broom so he could just fly me home okay how about this i have a quick little game everybody can you guys think of your word a really bad anime pun pick or pick a blind 
Who's got one? And the crickets go by. Oh my. I can't think of anything. And if I can, it's not child appropriate. Uh, hey girl, can I get your diglets? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Hey, the Pokemon puns. Oh my the god. The Pokemon puns. Oh my god. Oh, I got one. I got one. Objection! You just stole my heart. Want to go out for dinner? <laughs> oh, no. Are you a trap card? Because I think I've fallen for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you play card games? Because it's time to d -d 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 date you. <laughs> That is... <laughs> Lark wins. Lark wins. Lark wins. He wins on the stuttering alone. Oh. Oh my god. I'll show you my red eyes black dragon. Oh my god. Oh. Lark! Lark! I don't need 99 souls. All I need is yours. <laughs> Oh, oh, everything hurts. My name's Pegasus, because I've got an eye on you. Oh my god, Lark. Well, stop. Get out. Get out. Get out. You've unleashed the pun demon. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, 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 Do you I'm... believe in fate? How about you stay the night? Oh. Oh, no. Oh. I'm 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 sorry to anyone listening. We should all be sent to the penitentiary to be punished. Oh my god! Oh my god. Like, get out! Oh my god! You win, like Oh, you and Tara win. I can't! I can't do it! I can't do it! Oh, all right. Oh. Yes. Ooh. So with that, the 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 out card duly do. So that. So you want like us on like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Um, email us for any fan art and or questions. Follow Tara. Tara, where do you want them to follow you at? My Twitter, twitter.com slash IzanamiVA. And YouTube, which my channel name is also IzanamiVA. And E. Yeah, That's follow it. us on all of our personal Twitters. And you can ask us questions. And I'm sure they'll find their way here. Yeah. Also, just just quickly, I wanted to give a shout out to everyone that came and said hi at uh, Oz Comic Con and EB Expo uh, just recently. Uh, I know Robin had a blast meeting you all, and I had a blast not being recognized, but that's fine. Um, but but no, in all seriousness, it's it's great when we see fans. Uh, come to conventions to either meet us or they accidentally meet us, which was the case in most of the times. It was like we would be selling a poster, and then all of a sudden they recognize Robin's voice and then go crazy. But no, I just wanted to say thank, thank you to everyone. All right, and with that, this has been Shannon, Tara, and Lark, and we'll see you next time. 